Well, I am probably a little bit more excited than I should be, but I am super stoked because we've been waiting for this for such a long time to finally come. I've been talking about this since fall, summer of last year. Elon Musk has dropped so many hints about full self-driving subscription. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And of course, last month it was definitely coming. Well, here we are, July 16th, Friday night, as of something like 10.36 p.m. Eastern time, we now have full self-driving subscription model. So I did read through the T's and C's and I'm gonna go over all the details with you so that you know what all's included in this and what are some of the things you need to really think about when considering going with the subscription model. Now for a long time I've talked about once full self-driving subscription model is available, that's when we'll get it. I am not personally of the opinion $10,000 is worth it because once you spend that $10,000, it stays with the car. So you don't get to take that with you and that's really been a big piece for me where that's quite an investment to put into the car that you don't get to take with you. When you go to sell this car, of course, there is a chance you could get more money for it. However, if you trade it into Tesla, they're not gonna give you more value for the car for having full self-driving because they're just gonna remove it. So they do charge people every time that switches hands when it gets full self-driving. Real quick though, I did wanna say, we are just about ready to pass 30,000 subscribers and I can't thank you all enough. If you've been watching our videos from time to time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Once we hit 50,000 subscribers, that's going to be a humongous personal win for myself and a bet I have with my wife. So if you do enjoy our content, we'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, it really helps. So let's get back to it. So I did spend the last 20 or so minutes reading through the T's and C's. So there's two prices that you may see in the full self-driving subscription model. You can get this on your app or you can do this online through your account on Tesla's website. So if you have basic autopilot, it is going to be $1.99 a month to have full self-driving subscription. However, if you have enhanced autopilot, which a number of you might have, it's only $99 a month to have full self-driving subscription. I'm really glad that they did this because there's a number of people when EAP was more prevalent, certainly in the days of the Model 3, there's going to be quite a few of you who have EAP and aren't going to have to pay the entire subscription model price to add it. And I'll come back to that in a moment because there is some value there. Now for everybody else, it's $1.99 a month. And if you recall, Elon Musk did say at the end of the day, it's going to be a better value to just buy full self-driving. I personally disagree and I'll explain why. So at $1.99 a month, it's going to take 50 months to have spent $10,000. Now, yeah, that's less than a traditional 72 month car loan that you might be comparing this against, or even a 60 month car loan that you might compare this against. So if it takes 50 months to pay off, that's certainly well within the time frame that you're likely to trade this vehicle in. On top of that, if you're leasing the car, you're not gonna wanna spend $10,000 on a leased car. Why would you do that? But now you can subscribe. And according to the T's and C's right now, you can add the subscription and cancel at any time. There's no restrictions. So if you're gonna be doing a bunch of road tripping over the summer, as an example, you can add the subscription model now and you can cancel it later and not continue paying that monthly subscription. And then when you start road tripping again more, you can add it again. Additionally, if your driving habits change, like, I don't know, a pandemic pops up and you stop driving so much, well, you don't need to pay for it there's another period of time you can completely remove this option from your car and not pay for it. This is what's nice about a subscription model and the flexibility it gives you as a consumer. I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallet offers premium wallet designs with an aluminum chassis with options of wood, leather, and carbon fiber finishes. Grab the cards you need with a quick flip of the lever, RFID and NFC protection are built in, ensuring a safe and secure alternative to traditional options. Make sure to use code BTG to save 10% on your order. So for us, we obviously do a ton of road trips on this channel, so having the subscription model is definitely gonna work out well for us. In addition, we also have a YouTube channel, so that also adds into the equation of, I can probably get that value back. So for me, the math is a little bit different, and that's something that hit me just a few minutes ago. I'm getting some comments from a post about 
getting this subscription model. And a lot of you are saying, man, that's really expensive. Now, when we were talking about full self-driving subscription coming, there was a lot of anticipation that this was gonna be somewhere between $100 and $250. There were a lot of guesses right there in the middle, and it turns out it's gonna be $200 a month. Now, for me, that's a no-brainer, we're gonna do it. But we do a lot of road trips, and of course, like I said, we have this YouTube channel. So $200 a month for full self-driving is a no-brainer for me. However, that may be a lot of money for some of you. So it's something you're really gonna need to think about. When you get full self-driving subscription, you get the same features that you get on standard full self-driving had you paid $10,000. So of course that means you get navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon, traffic light and stop sign control, and then eventually auto steer on city streets once that becomes available. So right now you've been hearing a lot about the beta program and that's the auto steer on city streets. All that navigation and more autonomous features on top of that are part of that next level of features. So right now in full self-driving, as long as the car can tell where the lanes are, it'll continue to drive and take care of things. However, in normal city driving, it's still not there yet. So what you're really getting are some of these other features like summon, which is okay, um, but navigate on autopilot is pretty nice. Auto lane changes though. If you do long road trips, auto lane changes is something I have personally been looking forward to quite extensively for a long time. I'm very excited to have auto lane changes. We do long road trips and switching lanes, you, it automatically deactivates autopilot. So then you gotta reactivate it and then switch lanes and then reactivate it again and again and again. And you do this so many times over a thousand miles. So this is gonna be really nice to have. Plus, we just talked about recently not having blind spot monitor. Of course, the car can tell when there's cars around it, but there's not an indicator. So when you have this car driving itself on the highway, you don't have to think about blind spots. The car's gonna pull over whenever it's safe to do so. All right, so with that, obviously we got it. I'm so excited. We have full self-driving in the car now, and I didn't have to spend 10 grand to do it. So I'm super stoked to have it. Let me show you how you do this. You can do this one of two ways. You can either do it on your account on Tesla's website, or you can do it through the app. Either way, doesn't matter. So you just go through the prompts. It does add sales tax, and I'm sure that there are some areas where sales tax may not be collected, but I'm not an expert on state taxes with things like this. So you'll just have to go through this to see if you're responsible for taxes on top of that 199. So for me, you can see I'm paying a little bit more, about 14 bucks in taxes on top of that monthly fee of 199. So once that goes through and you click submit, you're done, that's it. Now, I was anticipating the car needing to do some sort of a software download, but it turns out it didn't even need to do that. So I, of course, went straight to the car, see what downloads I needed to do, but I already had an indication on the screen that said, full self-driving is ready. Adjust your autopilot settings to activate new features. So as you can see, this could not have been easier to turn these features on and to activate your car into full self-driving. It didn't need to do any kind of download. I just simply turned on the features that I wanted, which in this case is every single one of them. Really excited about that if you can't tell already. So anyways, $199 a month. Yes, that's 200 bucks a month. And if you start to do the math, that adds up quickly. So you're going to have to make up this decision on your own. Enhanced Autopilot is really what I was looking for. And when it was released for two weeks last year, I should have just jumped on it. But with this rolling out, I think that in the near future, just keep an eye out because Enhanced Autopilot may become available again in the future. Last time it launched, I think it was four or $5,000. So it was about half the price of what full self-driving was at the time. So four or $5,000 again, probably in the near future. In other markets across the globe, they are offering Enhanced Autopilot, so they still have access to that. Here in the States, we do not for whatever reason. But if that does come back, it may be something worth considering over this subscription model because it'll give you everything except for navigating on city streets. So there you have it. I'm so excited to break this news for you tonight. I've been waiting for this update for the longest time and it's finally here. So excited to share the details with you. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna pull the trigger like we did and get the subscription model. If you have enhanced autopilot, let me know that as well because you should be able to get this for $99 a month. Really excited to share this news with you. If you enjoyed this video, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.